I thought I'd address the question, is consciousness divine? This could be a rather loaded question for uh, to some. The immense grandeur of consciousness can certainly make it seem that it is divine. Uh, in many ways, the the traits that we project onto gods and other divine beings are actually present in consciousness. And really it's consciousness seeing those traits in itself So in a way, we could say that it is divine. Although there are experiences and perceptions that can be had in our conscious awareness that completely eclipse and uh, supersede any previous conception that we may have had of what it is to be divine. And I think that's a key thing to, to acknowledge when we ask this question. When we think about divinity, um, sometimes because the divine is more of a, it seems to me to be more of a generic term, a lot of different ideas and images may come to mind, such as spirituality and religion and the existence of a God or eternal being of some kind. But when the experience of oneness is had, these concepts become very inadequate and don't and aren't, they aren't sufficiently captured in the conventional definition of, of the divine, completely inadequate they don't capture, they don't adequately capture the beauty and the boundlessness and the other traits of consciousness itself. I've considered also the question is it possible for anything, for anything to be perfect? And I think the answer is yes. Some people, some people, actually a lot of people that I've talked to, they disagree. They say nothing uh, can be perfect because there are always going to be inherent flaws. But I disagree with that, at least in a relative sense. If we have a framework and a definition for what constitutes the idea of 
perfection, then and we end up exceeding each attribute within that framework, within that definition, then in a sense you've you've met the the requirements for perfection because the whole framework and definition is now blown out the window and the new what whatever it happens to be the new uh, manifestation or let, let's let's say experience let's say a meditative experience or a perception of divine if the new experience eclipses the definition, then in a sense we've uh, we've experienced something that could be regarded as perfection, at least in that moment. Not that it can't. That's not to say that it can't be again eclipsed by something even greater. So consciousness does seem to have all of the hallmarks of divinity. I hesitate to call consciousness divine because, because of the risk of being misunderstood. It's not, it's not clear to me that when I try to describe something that is that approaches the ineffable it's very likely that i'll be misunderstood especially if i'm describing something that someone may never have experienced at least along their their own perceived timeline. Because again, it's all one, and if we're all one, then on some plane, uh, they know and they understand. So the answer I see is yes and no. Because on one hand, consciousness completely obliterates our conventional conception of the divine. Not because it's simply different, but because it's the mere the conventional conception of divinity is woefully inadequate. And that's definitely a good thing, as far as I can tell. Of course, one could One could ask other questions. Does consciousness carry with it the other attributes of for example, cursedness or evil or things of that nature? Ultimately, these attributes are perceptions. They're 
they are perceptions that can be they can be perceived in consciousness but they are not inherent they they are not the only qualities of consciousness and even more importantly they are relative However, I do see, I don't generally regard consciousness as inherently having these qualities or that it leans in that direction. Consciousness can produce whatever it wants to. I will say that in certain experiences, meditative experiences, for example, one can't, one can't help but have a, a deep, a very extremely deep reverence for what, for what you're coming into contact with. And that kind of posture is one that, perhaps without saying so, we are acknowledging the divine. So consciousness is, you could call it divine or not divine. It doesn't make a difference. The attributes of consciousness are so extraordinary that even the word divine can be insufficient.
So is consciousness divine. See for yourself, I guess.